Hi there, my name is John Hicks from the Studying with Dyslexia blog. Today I want to talk about assistive technology and in particular um, a piece of technology that's been sent to me to try out. Imagine if you will that you have dyslexia and that reading a book or reading exam papers or any or textbooks or any kind of studying with, with printed content is a real challenge for you. I know in my own situation, I can get very tired reading. I can read eloquently, but what I can't do is process what I read very quickly. So I have to read things two or three times before they go in my head. But actually I can listen to things and maybe I can process that way. So something that will read out text might be quite useful for me. Now what's great is that on the market, amongst laptops and tablets are apps and bits of software that can easily read out text on a, on a computer, laptop or a tablet and so forth. Uh, the, the market's awash with free and costed product, software products that can help with that. And often we, we will take those for granted. But when you're actually faced with printed matter, what do you do? How do you get access to it? Now, if you are struggling with visual stress, then maybe um, with the letters jumbling up or the, the words squirreling around or maybe even the the um, the white of the paper coming through the letters is causing you some problems. And it may be that just putting an overlay over the text is, is really helpful, a coloured overlay. Um, for some people, they'll have a specific colour, they'll put this see-through colour overlay over and, and it will stabilise the text enough for them to be able to read it. But if you don't have that, What's, what's a, a good way of getting the text read out to you? Well, this is something that I want to kind of explore in this video. And I'd like to introduce you to the, the C-Pen. The C-Pen is a piece of technology. And it's essentially a scanner in your hand. Here it is. Comes in a nice case. And this is the device. What you do is you you use it like a pen and if I get another pen you can see that there's a similar size here which is great so it's not bulky particularly it's kind of easy to carry around and what you can do is you can use this to to get access to text so I'm going to um, if I can do this right on camera I'm going to show you the dyslexia contact magazine from the British Dyslexia Association there's an article in here about the um, all-party parliamentary group that um, met on the 24th of April, which I produced some data for. So I'm quite interested in, in the content, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, the C pen to, to read out the text. So all I do is I literally take the pen and I run it over the top of the text. And as I press down, a white light comes on. You can see that it's actually reading out the text. Mental health issues failing to diagnose dyslexia. Early and inadequate support, both academic. So this is a very, very fast and effective way of getting access to text on printed matter. Now one of the things that's um, really interesting is that this technology is the only technology that's been authorised by the Joint Council for Qualifications which is the organisation that oversees examinations here in the UK. And basically they've authorised the use of this in exam papers. So if you're taking an exam and you're worried about being able to um, read the questions properly um, or, or understand the questions then you can use this with a set of earphones that um, the device comes with and um, you can use it to go over the page or, or maybe it's just certain words that you're struggling with and you, you just want to listen to how the words are read out then you can use this little device to do that so quite an interesting device and um, the other things you can do on here as well is that you can run the pen over a word and you can access a dictionary on this pen so it will tell you what the word means so it's a really, really good device to sort of pull out of your pocket and um, use in the classroom or use in an exam situation. Um, it could be used in the workplace, anywhere. So um, 
yeah, quite quite impressive. Um, now, one of the things that um, you might want to be aware of, though, is that um, excessive amounts of text may be a little bit tiring to use this. I know some people do um, use this for, for most of their sort of quick fire reading um, and may, maybe reading lots and lots of text. Um, you, you may not be given to, to doing the scanning across the page. That's that's very much a subjective thing. I, I know people who have, who have said that's a problem for them and, and some people have said it isn't a problem for them. So um, I don't think it's um, a, a massive thing, but it's certainly something worth trying out. And scanning pens do actually provide um, free trials of this technology and you can send off for it and get, get your own copy and, and try it out and see if it works for you. Um, I would imagine for a lot of people this would be quite a useful device um, and certainly from an exams perspective would reduce a lot of anxiety knowing that you can just sit in an exam and read out the text using, using the C pen. There's also um, evidence to suggest that um, for the teachers amongst you who are organising exams that this technology will actually save money for the school purely because um, with, with paying for human readers or taking teachers out of their other classes to, to sit in as, as a reader for, for pupils in classes, that that's going to cost time and resources. And equally as well, um, what this means is in using this device, you can actually put the person using it in the same room as all the other kids taking the, the exams. So you don't have to use different rooms for the exam takers um, if they can get by using one of these. So there's lots of lots of benefits there um, in, in terms of cost savings for schools and probably improving attainment as well for the children um, using using this technology. Well, I hope that was useful and um, let me know what you think of the video. This is the first time I've done um, a video like this of, of a product. Oh, just dropped it there. Um, so um, let me know what you think and um, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.